Bunny had found a way for the smaller ghetto producers to compete with the wealthy studio owners. Stryker used his records to announce to the competition that he had them in his sights. I'm going to take over Orange Street because that's my street. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But it was now a record producer with his own record shop. Step him up the pressure on Big Street. Bunny had that charisma, you know, and he was not afraid to tell anyone, to, you know, to go to hell. You know, do what you like, because if, if you don't like it, come and see me. I am Bunny Lee, I am Striker Lee. Yes, folks, this is a big gathering at Music Street. A musical battle between Bunny Lee and Sir Cox in the round beat. Bunny Lee used to cover all of him, Sir Cox and hit songs. Uh, and Coxon was mad about it and Vex. Well, I can see Coxon shuffling across the Bunny Lee and the boat of Butler Music Street. It's you, Maros, you know. And the right from Coxon to Bunny Lee head and Bunny Lee misses. Another left from Coxon. And left and a right by Coxon and the left and a right by Bunny Lee and Coxon forget to duck and he's down. And the right from Bunny Lee to Coxon and Coxon duck and another right and Coxon forget to duck and he's down. I don't think he liked Bunny Lee that much. <laughs> Tom said that sort of thing, you know. But Cox is like that, you know, because, you know, Cox was a boxer and he used to punch up people and all of these things sometimes. And Cox is coming back like his reel is getting stronger. And it's counting start, and now Cox is back on his feet and we're fighting him throughout like mad. Right from Bunny Lee to Cox. Bunny was famous for his head butting. You know, he would knock you out with his head. Red Cox never feel good about it, but him and Bunny Lee are always at war. Red Cox is out! Cox is out! Bunny Lee! Big winner! And champion of Music Street! How would Cox have taken it? Well, it's the business, so... So, him didn't like it, but, you know, it's music. And it's a record. 